What's going on boys? This is Mosen with MTA32. Getting far with the MTAs, it's really good. Uh, for the 7th of November 2018, that is. And um, with the topics, mm, wall of text, sub fee, uh, reply. Um, basically, uh, if you, you know, if you don't like it, don't do it. And um, Osconti to lie. That's basically it. We'll jump right into it. Um, okay, so we're gonna start out with a um, comment from Nath. Okay, well, we're trying to get this Lightforge um, ingot here from this ship. If you haven't done the, the questline with the Morbent Fell from uh, Duskwood, it's a really good quest, and I recommend you do that. Um, it's basically um, you're just trying to, you're trying to dispel the the evil guy that is haunting the Raven Hill Cemetery. If I get got that right, um, and we're getting like a sacred ingot to forge some sort of weapon or something. Anyway, let's. Uh, this is gonna be long. Um, it's coming in from Nath, and he is saying, "Let me." Uh, Get them in. I think we gotta gather more. Let me turn on the sound just a tiny little bit. Right. I don't know why it's so loud. I have it so low already. Alright. And he is saying we're just gonna kill some mobs here in the meantime. I'm not sure I agree with the pricing. And that is like the, um, of course, if you haven't. Gotten that yet? You uh, will pay f uh, the normal price uh, for World of Warcraft if you want to play classic, and uh, you basically play the uh, uh, pay the um, um, you know the normal battle for Azeroth um, uh, fee, and for that you can play classic or battle for Azeroth. So, fifteen a month um, depends on where you're from, I guess. I think it's twelve ninety nine for EU. That's euros. So I'm just gonna with the 12.99 thing because that's probably where most people are watching from for Europe, and um, I'll get into that later. Um, the 15 a month I initially paid Blizzard included substantial GM support. Um, we need to kill these Morlocks before we do this. Substantial uh, GM support, and as time progressed, I knew the company was producing new contents. I don't mind paying for customer service. Um, the whole game industry loves uh, gaming as a service business model, and that's fine. So that's the first thing. That's correct. I can maybe already start here. Um, while you're right that um, you know um, this might not be the best pricing um, they could they could necessarily think of because um, they're not producing new content anymore for this. That's the state as of now, right? Um, maybe they will be continuing um, to produce new content. And, um, you don't know that yet, so I would. I, I, I know what you're saying. I kind of get what you're saying. It's like an old thing, you know. It's an old game, and um, you don't want to pay the same price when you are not getting like new content creation, etc. Like you are getting in uh, BFA, for example. Um, and this is absolutely a fair point, right? I'm not trying to defend that, but um, uh, they. I think for Blizzard, it's just easier to just have a sub, and they, of course, if you're playing classic. They also want to draw you back to BFA, so you maybe try that out. Just from their perspective, it makes absolutely more sense. Um, players would want to have a smaller fee. I heard that in a lot of places now. But we also, like, the community was, was really loud about um, they didn't care about the price. They just wanted servers, and then they got announced, and now they're here. So, I know what you're saying, but... Um, the community was really loud about they didn't care about the pricing. Now, as time come, comes closer, people are more concerned about that, which is also understandable. But yeah, um, you don't know if you're not going to get new content, and you will have GM support. Good su support, not like... I mean, the Lights Hope GM support was pretty good for a private server project, to be quite honest. But here you will have Blizzard support. Regarding the loot trading, we'll get into that later. But yeah. Um, I, I get what you're saying, so let's move on. 
Um, however, because as far as we know, the game won't be treated as something that will have added content as time goes on, I'm really not sure what the subscription fee is for, combined with the fact that Activision is using new loot trading rules so people don't uh, have to wait for GMs, exactly. This feels more like a cut in the customer service. I feel the business model of this game would be more fitting as a single purchase with a lower monthly fee. Um, I'm not expecting bug fixes after launch to be part of service financial business model. The argument of having developers constantly working to improve the game doesn't really count. The game should be finished. Should be a finished project. Product. Mm. True. Okay, so um, that's what I said basically. You don't know if there's not going to be content in, and those guys said um, they're they're getting this project underway, and then after that they'll see what. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to do something with it. And Ian defends this as still also the tr like the the real game. This is part. This is not just a side project. This is part of World of Warcraft now, and you can be sure that they're going to treat it as such. I'm very sure at least. And Blizzard doesn't do half measures when they brought something out usually, and this is their flagship game. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be something. Either they take it to TBC or they're going to add stuff um, without raising level cap. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, but yeah, you, you're right. Like you know, the, the loot trading is sort of a thing that they they want to avoid. They know how you know if, if retail players come into cl let's say not retail players, but if BFA players come into vanilla that haven't played vanilla or before Wrath of the Lich King yet, you gotta keep in mind those guys don't know that you cannot trade loot, and there's gonna be a lot of outcry. And I think they know that, and they wanna um, get that away from their customer service to save time and money. And resources, they don't. They haven't grasped the idea yet that it's going to hurt very badly the player experience, and nothing's set in stone yet. Don't forget about that, right? We're, we're all just chilling here and and seeing how it is. And um, they might change their mind about this, okay? Um, but yeah, you're right. Um, there's not going to be. Uh, you, you're feeling that there's not going to be more um, service, and there's not going to be more content, and hence why you don't want to. You don't really see the, the fee, but you have the comp you know the, the complete customer service. It's not like you won't be able to reach GMs. So that's in there, okay? And and you know we kind of have to pay developers too with the additional content. I like your idea better, to be quite honest. Um, I like your idea better that you have to um, pay like a like a, a version. The classic version, and then you pay a smaller fee monthly if you only want to play classic. However, they want to open it up for BFA players as well, and they don't want to exclude anyone from anything. So I get that smaller fee and the thing to to buy, but then you will have a lot of people. I probably were pretty alone with this. You'll have a lot of people on the often saying, "Hey, I bought this game already. Sorry, but I'm not paying it again." And that's also true. You know, it's it's hard. You can see like how hard this is to um, to combine. I think they should. To be honest, the, the easiest way to do this would probably be um, to just say, "Hey, um, you if you pay the full price, you have access to BFA and Classic, right? And if you only want to play Classic, if you only want to play Classic, right?" Um, you will be able to pay um, a smaller fee, but I'm not talking about five to six dollars uh, slash euros here because that's that's delusional. It's it's too 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 um, it's too low. You can't really do anything with that, even Blizzard. So I would say if you only and only want to play classic, they should. I, I think it would be smart of Blizzard to no, it wouldn't be smart of Blizzard to do that. Um, you know, to be honest, it wouldn't be, be smart of them, but it would be good for the community if they, or fair towards the players, if they would say, okay, we're offering you a, uh, instead of the, I'm going EU prices right now, okay? So instead of the 13 bucks uh, EU price, or 13 euros, um, how about you um, can either be, be able to play a, you know, I don't know, like a nine nine euro thing for classic uh, or eight, and then you can only play classic. Or you you package this in a um, 
Hold on, how far are we with this quest? Or you package it in um, in a more long-term subscription, basically. You're buying a um, classic subscription for, at least if you're paying less, they want to have a security of you playing it. So you can buy a six month or three months um, classic package, right? And then you're basically just doing the subscription thing. And if you buy that, then it gets cheaper. So that way, Blizzard have the um, Blizzard basically have the um, what's it called uh, the security of you not um, dropping out, and then you can get a better price only for playing classic. Let's say, okay, I'm committing to paying six months uh, for the classic experience, and um, that would be then now if you if you're paying six months in advance, I think it goes down to eleven euros, which is nothing. Um, then it would go would go down to like um, you know nine euros or so. Do you know what I mean? Then if you commit to, to pay six months in advance, it would go down to nine euros a month. And then you pay nine times six. So um, I'm bad at math. Uh, nine times six. Um, <laughs> 54. <laughs> 54 euros. And that way everyone would be pleased. They have the security. You can only play classic until then, right? You can always upgrade probably. Uh, and, but um, you uh, have a better pricing. It's like the only thing I can really think of. Um, here he goes on, to, Nath goes on to say uh, that uh, there's a reason I'm not taking this to the forums, I'm not looking for discussions per se, but I wonder what justifies the subscription fee for a game that won't receive updated content as diminished uh, customer service. We'll see about that, right? Uh, on a final note, another reason why I don't approve of this business model is the fact that um, the content isn't actually new, this game um, came out 15 years ago, which is another point against having to buy something. Um, Blizzard didn't have to invest time money that okay in the presentation of the lore or have to come up with the artwork of kobolds. Uh, these things already exist. Yes, it has to be re-rendered for new engines, but the creative sessions can be skipped. Even though I probably love classic retail, um, it feels like a cash grab. When I started playing this game back when it was released, it felt nothing like a cash grab at the time. Um, was unique and the price felt justified. True, they have development costs still, they need to have a team on that. Um, and I think it's a bit more um, complicated than re-rendering stuff. But I think, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. The whole, whole creative process has been, has been uh, done already. Again, and you know, back in the day, 2005, the world was different. Um, don't forget about that. It's time, you know, times change, and of course, it didn't feel like a cash grab back then. Blizzard was different back then too. But I think, to be quite honest, I get your points. But I think saying this is a cash grab um, is a little bit unfair towards Blizzard as well, um, because they reacted to the community finally, and they brought us the game we wanted. And you know, it's 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 true that it's just absolutely normal that we need to pay for this it's it's how it is and um they set the price people wanted it and people said they don't care about the price they just want the game and there you go now we got it and but we're repeating ourselves here i think um you know what i mean and you can have a different opinion on this absolutely you know it's, uh this is how if you know this is if how you feel and you're not alone with this um either right you're not alone with this uh opinion i'm just saying like for me i'm glad like i'm very <laughs> Um, all right, with the pricing, I feel like it could there could be a smaller fee for only classic players. I get you absolutely. Um, it's just um, I wouldn't say cash grab necessarily. But it's just I, I think there could be a smaller fee. At the end of the day, software as a service is most lucrative business model, and companies will try as hard as they can to offer services based on the monthly fee instead of single purchase experiences. I don't think Blizzard took a step back to see what could provide the best user experience, they went with what's most profitable. Back in vanilla, I feel confidently that the monthly fee was the best way to provide the best, best experience. Right. I'm gonna give this a like, and um, oh, by the way, I forgot to put uh, the other scene on where we go through browser stuff, so I put this uh, probably in to read. Um, now we gotta go back to Stormwind, I'm gonna sit on the griffin, and we're gonna jump into the next one. And we're gonna switch the scenes. Extras! Um, Stormwind it is, yes. Boom. 
Okay, that came in from Neth, so thank, uh, thank you very much for this wall of text comment, but um, that's uh, actually a, a big piece. And that was posted below MTA31, so if you want to bring in some, uh, you know, like my own video here, uh, if you want to bring in some uh, comments and, um, you know, have them answered or uh, state your opinion, I'm gladly picking it up. The idea of MTA is basically that you put in, um, that you put in, um, what's it called? Uh, comments in this uh, in this comment section below and then I answer them um, together with you guys and uh, then we have something to talk about or like if you have questions about me, about the class, about playing, about the game uh, put it into the comment section below and I'll answer it in the next one that's kind of the idea, you know, so we have like an ongoing thing the next one is coming in from Sam Graf I wanted to talk about this um, and it's a, I thought it was like, like a flame at first but uh, it's actually um, so Sam, you are saying, or he's saying, uh, as you can now read, um, hold on, uh, da, 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 uh, there's always the option of just not doing DM, right? Um, start a guild with a no DM for three months, um, policy and run MC that way. Just because something is in the game doesn't mean you have to do it. Same goes with the debuff limit, bad tier options, etc. Uh, bonus points if you rename your guild Iron Man mode. <laughs> okay, um, okay. Look, um, I think now technically I would absolutely agree with if something's in, you don't necessarily have to do it. But I think this is more you're right about that in regards to things like pet battles or something. If stuff like that is in the game, that's that's something I never enjoyed. I never did it. But I wouldn't necessarily agree that you know. But this is like a mini game out of the other game. So I would say, you know, just not doing DM, you're gimping yourself. It's like, um, yeah, you know, it's like not doing LFR and not spamming heroic dungeons in Legion back when you had uh, chances to get your legendary, your first legendary out of this. Because you would technically gimp your chances of getting that legendary. Of course, you didn't like it, but it felt, uh, oblig uh, you know, you felt like obligated to do it. And, you know, not doing DM doesn't really work because the items in there are so strong. And look, personally, I don't mind skipping MC a little bit and, you know, getting it um, through quicker. I've done it like, what, 200, 300 times probably. Um, I don't mind that, right? Um, but just not doing DM is just not a really a, a thing and find people, enough people to raid a 40 man raid to, you know, that say, oh, I'm just not gonna do a DM. In addition, I'll give you one more of those things, uh, uh, one more of the, the these points, um, and it's the Dire Mall buffs. We didn't even cover those. If you're going in there without Dire Mall buffs, right? Um, I mean, if you're going in into Dire Mall, you can get the Dire Mall buffs, and thus those are such huge buffs. If the whole raid gets them, which is usually a thing, you're stomping stuff, especially things like MC, okay? It's just an, another addition to this why it shouldn't be in. And and look, it's not it's not about, I don't want it in, um, so that, you know, it's too easy for people or it's easy mode or something. That's not the point. I'm genuinely um, worried about the um, whole... I'm worried about the whole... Um, experience that actually people get that have not played um, other servers yet and it's it will be a big difference and I think you know I think that um, if you're coming in here and then you have like DM out and you have the buffs and all that stuff and the loot and, and, the, and the gold farming and you have the you know, right it's, it, it won't feel like the like the actual experience and there's the, at, to be quite honest I'm not talking about delaying it or just putting it out or something it's just Put it out later, f four months later, like it used to be, right? It wasn't out at the start, it's just how it is, you know, just put it out four months later and it's gonna be a catch-up me mechanic for anyone that hasn't been able to clear it quickly, then you get the M buffs and all that good stuff. It's something to look forward to, actually. It prolongs the experience, it's, it's awesome. Again, we're not looking at, um, I don't want people to have things, it's more about when people haven't done this yet, then they come in here and then you have like all the cool DM loot, all the buffs and everything, and you go into uh, MC and it's really easy. You know, there should be like an epic feel to this MC thing, and uh, later you can get better items from DM. 
But again, like um, that's what you think, and it's absolutely fine. You know, it's uh, um, it's another way of seeing it. You know, it's just uh, you could also say just don't do it. I just don't necessarily necessarily think um, it's gonna that's gonna work. You can technically say that that's a good point for uh, things like pet battles. When I always used to think like, oh my god, why is this garbage in game, right? Um, and just don't do it. You don't have to do it if it's if it's not your thing. That is, if it's if it's a mini game within the game, and you really don't have to do it. But um, yeah, like you didn't have to do. Um, that was that was kind of the key point. You didn't have to do uh, normal anymore when you were raiding heroic and legion, for example. Technically, you didn't have to do it if you don't like it. In practice, you know, in practice, you you did have to do it because you needed to raid up a gear, and there were still good items there. So yeah. And let's get into the last part of the uh, MTA 32, and it's the Osconti July. And you might ask, how do people know it's gonna come out in July? They said summer. <laughs> and the truth is that I walked into the wrong district. The truth is that we don't know, but um, there have been, or there's a conspiracy, let's put it that way. Tinfoil hats on and um, yeah, <laughs> um, it comes in from oh my god, Kenneth Nerd, Kenneth Nerd, uh, two days ago, and it uh, says classic release date is July the sixteenth, two thousand and nineteen. Um, I don't know if this stuff has been posted yet. A quick search of separate didn't show in here. Uh, the gnomes from the comparison are named as Conti and July. I'm going to show you that right. There it is. And it's a screenshot of um, BlitzCon and the character customization. And um, indeed, they are, uh, they are named Osconti and on the right side, July. Oh, why is that important? And then July is self-explanatory. Um, Osconti is a level 16 gnome. Provides the link. And indeed, it's level 16 gnome. Okay. I see it here. So, um, that's true. And Osconti recorded a patchwork kill July 16th, 2016. So check that out. And that's, that's true. It's recorded from 2016. The thing is... Okay, it says here, 16th of July, 06. Friends to Osconti for recording this video. <laughs> and, um... The video was published though, August 2012. Okay, but that doesn't really mean anything. It's not close to the BlizzCon. So, that is true. Okay, and um, so basically, what he's saying, the Tinfall had um, uh, conclusion of this is July 16th, 2019 is a Tuesday. I don't know why that matters. Oh, it's a patch day for the US, of course. I'm a U scrub, so I would say Wednesday. But it's a Tuesday, so it's patch day. And. You know, he's. I can. I can see this. I can see this happening. You know, this, this um, actually, Asconti July, and then you go 16th, and it was like 16th of July, and so it's a good conspiracy. I like this. And then I'm gonna close the MTA um, with a final comment from Jack Rowey, and he says, "Row, why can't they make classic Warcraft? I don't know, classic, untouched by new stuff. Like why? <laughs> why honestly? Why?" Fixing the bugs I get, but why add new stuff? Classic. And I think that's a good note to leave it at. Uh, thank you very much for watching MTA32. Put stuff in the comments, I appreciate that very much. I made a defense skill video if you're unsure about defense skill. Stop by the Twitch channel, I love you guys and i see you next time.